Hey YouTube, how are we doing? And today we're going to look at how to partition a table in SQL Server. Now partitioning is fantastic for those huge, huge tables, loads and loads of rows. It helps read and write operations, it helps query performance. And we're going to show you also how to index on a partition table, so you have to make quite a slight tweak to that. Now, as with all my other videos, I'm going to break this up into chapters, so if you look right down below, you can skip to the part you want, which should help you. And if you've got any suggestions or tweaks, or if you like it, hit like, hit me in the comments below with any feedback, and subscribe if you want to. But most of all, enjoy the video. Cheers. So we're going to partition this table here. Um, I've selected all these columns here, and we're going to partition it by this column. We can see that it got everything for 2011 and it goes up to 2014, which is ideal for this tutorial because we're gonna add some file groups here. And this file group is gonna contain everything for 2011, this file group for 2012 and so on. And in this script, I'm gonna add the files that are gonna store everything for these file groups. Now, I've scripted all this out. If you didn't feel too comfortable about scripting it out, now I strongly advise you do, but you can go to properties and then go to files and you can add all the relevant files in there that you want to do. And you can add the file groups also. So let's run this. That's completed. Now in here, I'm gonna create a partition function and a partition scheme. Now our partition scheme maps the partition to the file groups that we just created. That is this part down here. And the functions, what maps the rows in the table or the, the index to the specific partition. So we were saying here up to 2012, so we've got everything up is gonna go in the first file group, this is gonna go in the second, this the third, and so on. So we can run that. Then comes the really fun bit, the partitioning. We're gonna go down to storage. We're gonna create a partition. I'm gonna click through that and we wanna partition by this. And I'm gonna align all my indexes as well, make sure they're partitioned. Go to next. Now we've already created our partition function early on, that was in the previous script. And our partition scheme, we've already created that. So I'm gonna say, so SSMS got bug, we've got to go back and forward. So I'm going to open that, go to 2011. And that's how it should look. So anything in this file group is less than or equal to this date. Anything in this file group is between this one and this one. So currently, anything over 2014 is gonna go in the primary one. And even if something was created in 2008, which we know it's not in the table, it would still go in this 2011 one because it's less than this. Let's create that. I'm just gonna run it immediately. We could create the script if you wanted, but we're gonna run it. We can now see if we right click here, go to properties, storage table is partitioned equals true so we can now see that we have partitioned a table successfully likewise now what we are able to do we have a look here let's take out this row and we can see anything in our table and how it's partitioned so we can see in the sales order in, in the, this table name we've got this many rows it's the indexes here, got this many rows in 2012 file group, this many in 2013, and this many in 2014. Likewise, we can scroll right back up here, look at the properties, go to files, we can see these have all been added, and we can see the file groups will also be there. Partitioning a table is as simple as that.